Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Ellie says hello too. She's down here hanging out, being silly. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Welcome back for another self-care Sunday. I just finished filming another video. Now we're going to hop right into this one. So by the title, we're going to be using this Myel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask infused with biotin and encourages growth. I am excited about that. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay. It's been dark and gloomy here and apparently whenever I want to film, I just can't win. So um, I'm playing with some lighting, but I don't want it to be like overly harsh so y'all just let me know um but I have several situations that I'm playing with so just let me know what you think is it okay does it you know because sometimes the lighting can get just so harsh you know so but yeah we in here talking about my L you guys actually um took a poll on Instagram if you follow me there I had you guys take a poll between the Mish and the my L um, and Mish one that video was already up you can go ahead I will link it up here go back and check it out if you want to see what was going on with this baby um, but you guys know whenever I do a poll it doesn't mean that I'm not going to film it it just means that I'm not going to film it first <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and use this because I have been very curious about this mask I've heard a lot about it so if you're interested in sitting down chilling with me and talking about my L and other things then just keep watching all right y'all you know we got coffee up in here rocking with snoopy today so let's talk about the product first so again this is the my L. I keep wanting to say my L organics but they are not my L organics anymore rosemary mint strengthening hair mask infused with biotin and encourages growth and this is 12 ounces So the only other hair mask I've used from them is the Babasu Mint Deep Conditioner. I actually have a new jar um, sitting underneath my desk in my lineup because I want to try it again to see if I like it. Because back in the day when I used it, I didn't really get good results with it. Except for one time. One time. And I think it's because I really needed the protein. Um, which that one is a strengthening conditioner, but it's not a protein deep conditioner. You know. So... Uh, I'm looking to see if maybe I'll have better luck with this one. Restorative, deeply moisturizing, penetrative mask for dry, thirsty tresses. The rosemary and mint strengthening hair mask is developed with your hair's greatest needs in mind. Nourish, hydrate, and strengthen all at once with this nutrient-rich formula. Nice. Directions are after shampooing with rosemary mint strengthening shampoo. I don't own that. Um, smooth evenly through damp hair from roots to ends. Leave in 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse thoroughly. Cool. And the first five ingredients are water, BTMS, Cedero alcohol, aloe vera leaf juice, as well as sweet almond oil. Um, that is also followed by sunflower, olive, sunflower and olive oil. Um, there is also some carnauba wax in here. So just know that that is in there, but that that isn't really like something that freaks me out. Like one of my favorite conditioners from Camille Rose also has that in there and I don't have an issue. There's also macadamia oil, babasu. Um, there is peppermint, rosemary, ginger. There's all sorts of stuff in here. There is some henna extract in here. This is packed with a lot of stuff. So let's see how this goes. And I really like the scent. It's light, like you get a little bit of the mint but you also get a little bit of like the other herbs that are going through it. Very nice, light. I also have the Rosemary Mint Multivitamin Daily Styling Creme, um, but I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to wait on this because I think I wanna do a one and done video on it. Today, we're just gonna use the mask. So how y'all doing? Um, it's been a minute since I filmed a self-care Sunday because the self-care Sunday that you guys watched before this was filmed over two weeks ago. And a lot has happened in that time. <laughs> um, and before we get on to Chitter Shatter, this is where my hair is at. I actually just finished um, a demo and review using the Honey's Handmade Cherry Tapioca 
cleansing cream. So if you want to know my opinions on that, be on the lookout because that video will be up soon. I don't usually co-wash and deep condition, but this wash week has been trash. Like it's been absolute trash. Um, the Curls Dynasty stuff, did just it, it did not go well. If you have seen that, then you know. If you have not seen it, then I will also link that right up here in the cards above. Go check that out. Um, and I have nothing against the products. And the owner, she's a very sweet person, but it just, my hair and what that brand goes for, they don't work because my hair is already so soft. And literally, I went out with my mom for brunch um, and my hair was destroyed by the time we finished brunch, went to the grocery store and came home. So... That was kind of disappointing. I've been wanting to try Curls Dynasty for some time. And I was just, you know, like, I was happy to be able to try the products. I just hated that I couldn't, like, give a positive review. So I ended up having to clarify because it was just too much on my strands. Like, my strands were just built up. Um, I do want to <clears throat> try the Vanilla Cream Custard um for a braid out I feel like that might be really nice for a braid out but it just wasn't it wasn't enough for a wash and go even though I have fine strands my hair needs control so let's go ahead into the steep conditioner oh this feels this feels good I need a win for my L because the last time I used my L well we all know what happened the last time I used my L it smells so good. Monique, you want to make some candles? Have you ever thought about making candles? Because this will be a great candle. This feels really good too. Okay. Yeah, this feels really good. No, real talk though, if Monique wants to make a candle out of this fragrance, um... I will buy like 15. This, this smells so good. I'm sorry if I come off very animated in this video. So let's talk about this past week and I will explain why. Um, so on top of all the other issues that I've had, cause y'all know I've been sick. I've been going through it. Um, well, of course my cycle started and it was the first one I've had in like two and a half months. And those of you who have issues there know that whenever you haven't had one in a while, it comes back with a vengeance and it came back with a vengeance. And I, I discovered a lot this week, truthfully, because first of all, I ended up in so much pain that I had to use my serious pain medication um, for the first time in months, which is crazy because it's literally a year like to the date that I had my surgery. <laughs> so it's been a very long time since I've had to use any type of pain medication. Um, and basically what I do, because I, if you've had to take anything stronger than like 800 milligram ibuprofen, you know that things can get iffy. It doesn't matter how disciplined you are. I feel like once you've had something that strong, your body is going to crave it whether you want to or not. And so what I do is I keep my medication in a place where I have to work really hard for it or somebody else has to go for me and work really hard to get it. <laughs> um, and I do that because I never want to be in a situation where I'm just popping it, you know? Like, it, it's like trying to not create an attachment. So, I got some. I took half a dose, okay? I didn't take the full dose. I took half the dose. And I had a full-blown panic attack, y'all. Like, I was sitting in bed, heart racing, in tears. And it clicked to me 
you know, I've talked about this before that I've dealt with some anxiety and I've had panic attacks um, a lot last year. And I'm so thankful that I had this channel because that really helped me a lot. Um, just with calming down and centering and you guys were so positive and supportive. Um, and that really like, it's one of the few times I think I've ever heard anyone say that social media helped them with their anxiety, but you guys really did help me with my anxiety. Um, and so I thought that what I was experiencing was just, you know, you know, long-term psychological effects from being in so much pain for so long, you know? Um, and it's kind of like once you have one, it never completely goes away because it's like knowing what it feels like to have a panic attack will make you have a panic attack, right? Um, and so I had never really equated it to anything over time, it got better, um, especially after my surgery because I didn't have to be in bed a lot. Um, I wasn't in pain all the time and so I wasn't laid out all the time, right? But it never like really occurred to me that it was the medication. But literally y'all, like, I would say like 15 minutes after taking it, full blown panic attack. And afterward, I just had no energy like the last two days I have been just like I've been at work like yeah you need me to get what you said what oh I don't know like I've literally been like that for the last two days and so now I have all of this pent up energy <laughs> It's like I've I've had an energy drink and I have not um and no it's not the coffee because coffee don't affect me y'all I can drink three cups of coffee and go to sleep I know that's a shame <laughs> but um I've and I've always been that way coffee has never given me energy I honestly think it's just that I'm a naturally tired person because of my disease so caffeine does not provide energy um I genuinely like the flavor of coffee but also like it is like if you drink coffee then you know like it is it is an addiction caffeine is addictive and if i stop drinking it oh i feel bad for anybody around me let's just say i i had to stop drinking it once and my parents hated me i think it's the only time they've ever hated me i was not the same person <laughs> but i didn't even like i didn't even realize that i was really like withdrawing from it like I had a headache and everything and I didn't notice until my dad was just like drink this <laughs> and I drank some and I was like <laughs> so yeah if I seem a little extra animated um that is why because I have a lot of pent up energy um but yeah I it, it's hard when you are in a position where you will have to use stuff like that at some point. It just sucks because it just changes so much and makes life so difficult. Um, and it's no wonder I haven't been able to drive because I mean, I could barely function at work and I wasn't taking it, you know, like I'd only taken it once, <laughs> but um, it does take a minute to get out of your system. But you know how sometimes like you end up in situations where it really just makes sense, you know, like, once everything is said and done, you're like, this makes so much sense. And that's how I feel. That's where my hair is. Um, there is a lot of white on my hair. Um, initially, I will just say this mask feels delicious. It literally feels so delicious. I hope, I hope that it feels as good when I rinse it out because... I feel like once I get under like the deep conditioning cap and everything, all this white is gonna go away. But this feels so rich and silky. Um, I can't remember who it was that said that they felt like this was a dupe for strength. And was it was it Curly Tails? Talise, was it you? It might have been Talise. I don't feel like it feels like that. 
it may have the same effect when you rinse it out I don't know yet but I don't it doesn't remind me of that yet this one is a little bit more velvety a little bit more emollient but I see I see the similarity though like I see the similarities for real um so so far I like this um like I said I need a win for my L because I don't I don't dislike my L it's like you say you have one big disappointment from a company and then people swear up and down that you hate them and I'm like I don't hate them like Unless you've done something or said something to me personally, or like you're just out here doing nasty stuff, then, you know, it's never really hate. So, um, first of all, family check-in. It's been some time since the passing of Kobe Bryant. Um, and obviously, like, you guys didn't really get any videos of me talking about that because I had pre-filmed, I got sick, I had to push things back. Um, and so all of that kind of happened when I made the decision to push the videos back. Um, and honestly, that was kind of part of it because it's just so weird because, I mean, I've grown up watching Kobe my whole life, but I've never... I've never been like a Kobe fan. Like I've been a fan of his presence. Like I've been a fan of his work and I've been a fan of not only his work on the court, but the work that he does within the community, well was doing within the community. And I was also a fan of just his relationship with his daughter. And it was just crazy. Like me and my mom were sitting in the in the Total Wine parking lot. And I'm just like, I'm looking at Instagram and I'm just like, what the hell? Like, why is Kobe Bryant all over my feed? And I'm thinking like, is like, what's going on? And then I see that he's dead. And like me and my mom just sat there like we were just numb. But what hit me was to find out that his daughter was with him. And that those families were there. Like, families have literally just been shattered and torn apart um, because of this. And it's just really heartbreaking. Like, the whole thing is very heartbreaking. Um, I just feel for his family. I feel for all the families. And I don't know. I think just for, for some reason, this situation right here just really... It just hurt. Like, it it just hurt. Um, and even though I don't really have any connection to Kobe Bryant, aside from the fact that, like, I mean, if you're my age or even, like, a little bit younger, like, you grew up seeing him everywhere, you know? Like, to get a Kobe Bryant cameo on your show was, like, the shiz, right? <laughs> um, and so even if you didn't watch him when it came to basketball like he was still like a pop icon um and definitely a figure that I think for me it's like as long as I've lived this person has been important like you know how it's like I told my mom the other day like we were talking about James Earl Jones and I was like why didn't anybody like tell us that James Earl Jones used to be a baddie like back in the day and she was like girl you didn't know that and I'm like mom James James Earl Jones has been old my whole life like <laughs> like I'm just being honest like he's been old my whole life you know that's kind of how I feel about Kobe like he has been so relevant and so important my entire life and so it's just odd you know it's just odd it just doesn't feel right and knowing that his daughter was there it's just it's just painful but I think everything that's kind of happened over the last couple of weeks has really just kind of brought home you know what I preach a lot like be kind to one another hold your family close you guys know I take family very seriously and so um there have been a lot of times where I have not uploaded or posted because I just wanted to spend time with my family and you guys get that. And I love that because, you know, life is not promised. I've been through a lot with my family. Um, I My dad has a lot of health issues. So, you know, every other day it, it kind of feels like we're in like slight crisis mode, you know. But that was, that was difficult. It was difficult to deal with. 
Um, so, you know, rest in heaven to Kobe and Gianna. Hopefully you guys are kind of more so on the men. But I did do a check-in for y'all because I was like, I need check-in on the fam because I'm like, I know I've been sad. And I know y'all been sad too. And I had to check in on y'all. So, you know. I might try to do that more often. Just do like wellness checks um, in the community tab for you guys. Um, so just kind of showing y'all. So that white, that white is really popping up. So I'm just hoping that it does penetrate once it hits you know, heat, but my, y'all, my, even my fingers feel really good. My fingers are like, oh girl, what's this? So I wanted to just briefly discuss the elephant in the room, which is Diva Curl. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me about this and I think a lot of people are asking questions and not really happy, like with the responses that they're getting from other influencers. And I'll just say this, it's very hard to respond to something that you really have no idea about. Like, I'm just, I'm going to be real. <laughs> like, I've watched some of the Curl Ninjas videos, Stephanie. Um, and she's been talking about this for a long time, for like the last year. Um, and the thing with her was that even though what she was saying did sound plausible, she's done a lot to her hair over the last year. And I feel like really just now, like over the last couple of months, there are more people coming out and talking about their experiences with Diva Curl. Now, it sounds like um, the issue is whatever is going on from like beginning of 2019 to now. Um, so if you have older products, you may not be experiencing this. And truth be told, guys, like, I think most of us African-American um, natural hair influencers are not going to have really any connection or understanding of this because we are trying new things every single week. Um, the people who are really coming out and talking about this are influencers who mainly only use diva curl and so i am really hoping that there is some resolve for those who have been affected by this i know that there have been petitions and things like that from what stephanie has been doing for a while can we just talk about like y'all y'all see this right like my hair just be doing that and I'm not used to it. I'm really not used to it. Like, this is just odd for me. Like, they they look like straws. Like, it's it's so wild. Like, I'm not used, I'm not used to this. It sounds so simple to everybody else. And we chalk it up to, well, these are the ingredients. But y'all, like, as far as I know, from when I have purchased Diva Curl, there, I haven't seen any ingredient changes. So these ingredients that y'all are talking about have been there for a while. Um, it's not anything new. And while yes, things can, things can definitely have long-term effects. You may not see something immediately, but you will see it in the long term. But I would not consider this long term only because if it really were long-term effects, I think more of us would be seeing this issue because I know I've been using Diva Curl for a while. Um, before I, you know, before I did my channel, I talk about melt into moisture all the time. Um, and I still have some. <laughs> I have repurchased. Um, and so I don't, I don't necessarily think that it's that. And honestly, what it sounds like, and I agree with Stephanie on this because she has said this too. Um, it sounds less like the formulation and more like the products aren't being stored properly. Um, and understand that 
the temperature that a product is stored in really does affect it. We already know um, with our more natural products that we need to keep them in, you know, a cooler space, um, especially if it's something that doesn't have any type of preservative, you don't want it to go bad. Um, temperature control is important, especially in warehouses. And DivaCrow claims that they have tested um, products in their warehouses, and I don't necessarily believe that. Um, they are likely still doing tests on the samples that they've already taken prior to um, these products going into warehouse facilities, right? I highly doubt that they are testing anything at the warehouse because right now I don't think they feel any legal obligation to. And the way that they have addressed this makes it clear that they don't really care. Um, and so this, honestly, I don't think there's going to be any true resolution until there is legal accountability and there's a third party that steps in and does testing. Because I will just say this, for those who are a part of this class action, um, I'm sure that I, I'm sure that they're probably trying to pull together funds. Hi, baby. Come here. I'm sure they are trying to pull together funds to get their own independent testing done, but I don't think that's going to be enough. And I say that because there's always some dumbass that ruins it for the party. Um, and so I would hate for those who are genuinely going through this to end up having somebody in that situation that tampers with their bottles. Um to get results that say that there is something in a Diva Curl product that's not in there. Also, it is very easy for Diva Curl to pay to get results. You know, people do this all the time. Like it's it's no, it's nothing new. Um, and it's going to have to be an independent third party that's not hired by Diva Curl and is not hired by these ladies who are going through this to get genuine answers. But I want I want them to get answers and I want any of you guys who have been using the products and are experiencing issues to get answers to. Um, I will say this, people have um, DM'd me and asked me about it. And for some reason this upsets people when you say it, but like, if you're worried about the products and stop using them, like that is the most common sense answer I can give you guys, <laughs> don't use them. Um, I genuinely have not followed this enough to give a big, well-rounded opinion on it. I just, I, I have not, okay? Um, and so there's only like so much that I can say beyond the few things that I've seen from Stephanie um, and a couple of videos that my boo Xavier has sent me. Um, and then, of course, like the little thing that Diva Curl posted the other night, which was whole lives and bullshit. It was just bullshit. OK. Um, and so the only thing that I can tell you guys is if you're concerned, stop using the products. Um, depending on how much of them you have left and when you purchase them and where you purchase them from, you may be able to take them back and exchange them or get store credit. Um, but it depends on how much you have left in your containers. Um, I also see this going around too. People are going on the whole Think Dirty train again. And I will just tell you guys again, because I've talked about this before, Think Dirty gets paid, okay? Um, they get paid to post certain things. Um, and nine times out of 10, half the brands that we use aren't going to be on there. And the other ones, if it has a preservative in there, it's going to be listed um, as being dirty. So um, just be aware of that. There are some things that fall lower on the list. Like I think phenoxyethanol falls lower on there. But do understand that Think Dirty does get paid. Um, and those aren't, that's not really something that you can trust at the end of the day. If you're getting paid to post something about a company, um, then you can't, you know, like when it comes to stuff like that, that's so different. Cause like I said, like companies pay other, you know, other labs and things like that to give faulty results and things like that all the time. It's nothing new. And I work in science. I've seen it. Y'all, I have seen some grimy shit. Okay. <laughs> I've seen some grimy stuff. So um, do not solely rely on Think Dirty. And again, like, don't let situations like this scare you 
if anything, situations like this should make you feel stronger and using your voice. When you guys notice things that aren't normal, talk about it. Um, it is kind of sad that Stephanie has been like the only person talking about this for like a year. Um, and this is just now gaining traction because the other ladies that are coming out and talking about this are people who have been ambassadors for Diva Curl. They've been using the products for years. They have been linked up with the brand for years. And that is really what is making people look. From the Diva Curl products that I have used in 2019, I have not had issues. So if that's been a question for you guys, I haven't had any issues with that. And I haven't noticed any adverse reactions to, to you know, the one Diva Curl product that I've been using. I've also been told that it's just the Delight line. I don't think anybody really knows, okay? So just, just don't use it, you know? Um, I'm not using mine, but I haven't used it for a while. Not intentionally. I just have other things that I'm kind of obsessed with. So I haven't really paid attention to it. Um, but yeah, just be smart out here. Um, and, you know, read your ingredients, read your labels. Really proud of those who did come out and finally talk about it um because I know that's not an easy thing to do and it's it's hard because like that is their brand you know um when your hair is destroyed like that it's like trying to figure out what you're going to do from there so I am praying for all of these ladies I'm praying for resolution and honestly just shame on diva curl because even even if what's going on isn't a formulation issue it should be taken more seriously because it is a health concern. And like I said, somebody else is going to have to step in because if it's if we're just relying on Diva Curl to do something, it's not going to happen. Like, it's just not going to happen. So back to the mask real quick. Um, This side is starting to penetrate. This side really isn't, I, you know. Um, this is how much I used. I didn't use a ton of it at all. So, decent amount. I'm definitely going to get at least five more uses out of this. I just can't handle the smell. Monique, I need a candle. Like, I, those of y'all that have this, can't you see this being like a dope candle? And I like it because it's not overpowering, but I can feel like that slight tingling sensation. It's not anything crazy. It's just slight. So, um, I'm going to go eat my pizza. And sit underneath my deep conditioning cap for 20 minutes and I'll come back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back and these are my final results. I like it. So it says it's deeply moisturizing and penetrated for dry thirsty tresses. It's supposed to nourish, hydrate, and strengthen all at once. And I definitely agree with that. Now, this doesn't put me in the mind of strengthen. I'm deep conditioner from Mish. And I say that because this is definitely more strengthen, gives you that deep strength, but it also really, how do I, it also gives a deep moisture to the hair. This one is more of like a nice hydration effect. It feels really good, but it's definitely not like strengthened to me. But I really like it. My hair feels really good. It feels soft, but it has some of that strength back to it, which I was really needing. It still has some frizz, which is cool. I really think it's about time. For me to do um a, an elasticity treatment a protein treatment so i will probably be pulling out my tgin curl protein reconstructor soon to work on that but i do like it my hair feels really good it just kind of gave me what i need you know so Finally, a win for my L. Thank you. Because this week for washing has not been good. It's not been good. So that is my review for the My L Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. Definitely, this baby is a keeper. And it's affordable. I want to say this is like $9.99. Um, I got this during the $5 sale. 
for Black Friday, but it is still affordable. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for this installment of Self Care Sunday. I hope y'all are doing well and just thriving and doing whatever you can do to get through. Y'all know I got you. You need some uplifting, some positivity. Let me know. I'll hit you up with some, you know, positive affirmations and some love. <laughs> um, and of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.